Clipping things back together is taking a little bit longer than it was pulling them apart. Crews got back out here around 8 a.m. this morning, carefully replacing the over 20 pieces of concrete in that northeast corner of the pedestal and apron surrounding it. Now, because of the pace that they are going, it's likely going to take two days to put all of those pieces back into place. And one of the things they'll be getting to tomorrow is the installation of the cornerstone section that will hold this new time capsule. Of course, it was the search for the old one that led to it all being ripped up in the first place, and they called that off after 12 hours of digging, drilling, and scanning yesterday. Afterwards, we talked to local author and journalist Dale Brumfield, who's done a lot of research on the capsule and the old news articles talking about its installation ceremony and says that he is sure that it's in there somewhere. It's just finding it, accessing it. Uh, there, there was too many ceremony. The, the ceremony was too big. There's commemorative ribbons. I was just we were just showing people a commemorative ribbon from that day, uh, and so we know what happened. We know there's a ceremony. We know what time capsule was placed. We just can't find where. So that's that's the mis that's still the re the mystery that continues with this whole story. Now, while that work continues, they have removed the security fencing that was put in place for the statue's removal. There still is a ring of fencing around the circle itself, which will remain up until the pedestal work is done and the repairing of the ground as well, which they just said is expected to take several days before they could potentially reopen the circle to the public.